G'day guys, it's Jed here from Explore WA. Today I wanted to take you through the new KT Solar 100 watt panel which I've got mounted up there on the roof. I also wanted to show you how we got it up and running on the vehicle. So what we're going to do is take a look at the things that I've done to make it work. What we've done is mounted the KT Solar panel to a Tracklander tilt bracket allowing us to angle the panel to the sun for its optimal charge rate. It also folds flat. We've run rubber extrusion under the mount brackets and fixings to absorb vibration and we've also used the MC4 weatherproof connectors. Now you'll notice that we've used spiral guard to protect the cabling for the solar panel and this is to protect against rub throughs and abrasions while we're on the tough tracks at WA. Cable length is about two and a half meters all up so we've used six mil twin core through the roof. This fat travels down into a battery management system and we use a Red Arc BCDC 1240D. It has a direct solar input which is great, plug and play. You'll also see that we have all our stuff on the rear drawers there and it keeps everything nice and neat. So there you have it guys, that's our KT Solar 100 watt panel mounted up to the cruiser. Now listen, we're really excited to push this thing through its paces in 2018. It's got a lot of tough trips coming up, so it's going to see uh, pretty much how it goes. I think it's going to do really well. We'll try getting this install done right and that's going to uh, go a long way to keeping these batteries charged and beer cold. You can check out uh, down below KT Cable's website got the full range of their solar products. Thanks guys, I'm Jed and I'll speak to you next time. Catch up.